Hi guys and welcome to another video. My name is Tim and I'm from 40 Tech and in my channel I talk a lot about cinematic techniques with your camera, for example the DJI Pocket 2, our DJI drones and the Sony cameras. So if that's floats your boat then please subscribe to my channel and watch my previous videos. Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about the differences between time-lapse, motion-lapse and hyperlapse because many modern cameras have these moves but it's not very clear what the differences are between these. So in this video, I want to just basically go through and give you an explanation of each of these. All right, let's first of all start off with time-lapse. So the time-lapse is very traditional where the actual camera will take a frame once every period of time. For example, once every five seconds or once every 10 seconds. So the time-lapse simply compresses time down to see what happens over a much longer period of time, for example, overnight or over several hours. Traditionally, the camera is put in a static position on, a, for example, a tripod or some other uh, secure mechanism, and it simply just takes a picture every few frames. As you can see in these examples, this can be used for example watching clouds or maybe some uh, people in crowds in the scene or maybe cars going by or a uh, sunset gradually um, disappearing behind the horizon. Let's have a look at an example of the time lapse in action. Okay, let's now move on to the next one, which is motion lapse. Now the difference between a motion lapse and a time lapse is the camera is very slightly moving while it's actually taking these frames over a longer period of time, and hence why it says, why it's called a motion lapse. Now the motion is not necessarily particularly big. For example, it could be moving a few centimeters or maybe a meter or so. So the camera, for example, could be uh, on a gimbal uh, with a predefined path, or maybe it's on from some form of slider. But again, the motion is not going to be very long. Let's have a look at examples of the motion maps. As you can see here, the motion lapses create a little bit more excitement compared to the time lapse, but it is a very much a similar a thing as a time lapse. All right, let's now move on to the final one, which is hyperlapse. So in hyperlapse, the camera is moving over a much larger distance. For example, it could be mounted on a helicopter, or maybe it could be on a motorbike, or maybe it could be uh, walking along a street. Now the idea, of course, is that it actually compresses time, so it's going to be recording for a much longer period of time, maybe like an hour or half an hour. And in some examples, it could be um, flying over a city, or it could be looking at a particular building while walking down the street. So you can see the difference between the hyperlapse, the motion lapse, and the time lapse. Let's have a good look at examples of the hyperlapse and see how that works. Okay, so that is some examples of the hyperlapse. Now, in this video, we've learned the differences between the time lapse, the motion lapse, and the hyperlapse. So, I hope that's now clearer to you guys, and uh, I look forward to seeing what you do with these modes. And uh, in future videos, we're going to learn how to actually do the time lapse and motion lapse with our cameras like the GoPro and the DJI Pocket 2. All right, take care, and I shall see you soon on another video.